we're gonna get straight into it but this is 50 insane fighter jet facts that will shock you let me know if any of these surprise you by the way my name is Courtney and I'm from New Zealand um, I react to all things USA and also military and sport videos as well so if you want to subscribe feel free down below um, but without any further ado let's just get started into today's video I usually watch a video through and then put my thoughts at the end so yes stick around to hear my thoughts at the end fighter jets are right. probably the most iconic and badass weapon in any nation's military. They patrol the skies like giant predatory Cyanide. birds, screaming down onto their targets from out of the blue, or lurking unseen miles away like a deadly assassin. They are loud, powerful, and some are on the bleeding edge of technology itself. So it's no surprise that their history and development is filled with amazing facts you probably never heard of. Right. Hello and welcome to another episode I'm of the Infographic to Show. Today. today we're taking a look at 50 surprising facts you didn't know about fighter jets. I'm sure you guys know 50. These. The F 4 Phantom, developed by the United States, was nicknamed the world's leading distributor of MiG parts because it destroyed so many MiG fighters in combat around the world. 49. After the terror attacks of 9-11, the U.S. Air Force dispatched combat air patrols to guard from further attacks. Yet before the Air Force could spin up combat-ready jets, Air National Guard fighters had already taken to the skies without any missiles or live ammunition. These brave pilots knew that further attacks could be imminent and people needed protection right now, so they committed to crashing their fighter jets into any hijacked planes as the only means of taking them down. 48. Though not technically using a fighter jet, this one's still too cool to leave out. During World War II, Russian fighter pilot and hero of the Soviet Union, T. Kuznetsov, was shot down in enemy territory. When the German pilot landed, possibly to look for survivors or souvenirs from Kuznetsov's wreck, Kuznetsov stole the German plane and flew it home, <gasps> narrowly avoiding being shot down by his own countrymen. 47. Oh in 1989, a Soviet pilot ejected from a perfectly working MiG-23, thinking the plane's engine had failed. The what? unpiloted plane instead flew itself over 560 miles on its own, crossing Germany and eventually running out of fuel and crashing into a house in Belgium, where it killed one oh, teenager. No, 46. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was so fast, the designers told its pilots to not even worry about evasive maneuvers. They simply told them to put the pedal to the metal and accelerate and outfly any threat to <laughs> include amazing. missiles. 45. The SR-71's Ooh. designers were probably so confident in their plane's abilities because although its true top speed is still classified, one of its pilots wrote in his book, The Untouchables, that he once evaded an anti-air missile by flying at an astonishing Mach 3.5. 44. Moving at three times the speed of sound and flying at 85,000 feet, the SR-71 existed before GPS and thus used an onboard camera that Are looked into space and used the position of the stars above to navigate accurately. What? Because it sat behind the pilot, its navigation system was officially designated R2-D2. 43. The SR-71 is still the fastest plane ever created and first took flight for the U.S. Air Force in 1964. NASA retired its last model in 1999. 42. Over 4,000 missiles were fired at the SR-71 during its lifetime, and not a single one ever That's hit. Amazing. The plane was just That's too fast. Amazing, 41. Isn't it? The plane required a large amount of titanium to construct, so the CIA created fake companies around the world and bought the metal from the USSR, which was the biggest supplier at the time, and both the US's enemy and number one target of SR-71 missions. Ooh, 40. Smart. The Lockheed U-2, another Another of its famed spy planes and progenitor to the SR-71 first took flight in 1955 and flew at 70,000 feet out of reach of both missiles and radar in use by the Soviet Union at the time. 39. The plane was rejected by the U.S. Air Force because of its non-traditional landing gear, which made the plane difficult to land. The CIA saw the potential for this untouchable aircraft, though, and immediately moved forward with the project. 
38, U-2 pilots flew so high that they had to wear spacesuits which limited their vision and made the plane mm. difficult to land. A chase car was used instead to call out altitudes and help pilots land. What? 37, on May 1, 1960, it was revealed that the Soviet Union had indeed been able to track U-2 planes, but their missiles weren't good enough to hit them for years. On that day, pilot Gary Powers was shot down over the Soviet Union, and the US government immediately contracted Lockheed to build a better spy plane, the SR-71. 36. Every retired F-14 Tomcat that the United States has in inventory is being shredded to prevent spare parts reaching Iran, who still fly F-14 sold to them by the US before the revolution in the 70s. 35. The US made F-15 Eagle has, across all air forces it serves in, a air-to-air -air combat record of 104 kills and zero losses. No air superiority versions of the F-15 have ever been shot down by enemy forces. 34. It's in so 1983, crazy. an Israeli pilot successfully landed his F-15 with only one wing intact, not realizing the extent of the damage his plane had suffered, after he stated that if he had known, he would have ejected from the aircraft. 33. The F-15 can also add <laughs> the only satellite know, kill goodness. in history to its impressive record. During an anti-satellite weapon test, U.S. Air Force pilot Major Wilbert D. Pearson fired an anti-satellite missile at a retired solar observatory satellite in orbit 345 miles above, destroying it. 32. Breaking the sound barrier was thought impossible by many, who stated that doing so was not just physically impossible, but would destroy any aircraft attempting to fly so fast. Yet on October 14, 1947, U.S. pilot Chuck Yeager did exactly oh, wow. that, flying at Mach 1.07 in the experimental X-1 jet. 31. Nobody expected Chuck Yeager or his aircraft to survive the attempt to break the sound barrier, and the answer to many of the technical challenges that plagued the X-1 program was simply, Yeager better have paid up his insurance. <laughs> 30. Two days before his test flight, Yeager fell off a horse and broke two of his ribs. Afraid he would be grounded and unable to fly, Yeager went to a civilian doctor who no. simply taped up his ribs and no. kept the injury Why? secret. He was in so much pain on the day of his flight that he couldn't seal the X-1 hatch by himself and had to be helped by a fellow pilot who knew of the injury. Oh 29. In June 1974, when President Nixon was on his way to a scheduled stop in Syria, Syrian fighter jets intercepted Air Force One to act as escorts. Air Force One's crew, however, had not been informed, and the plane took evasive actions to include a steep dive. 28. The F-22 is the world's first fifth-generation aircraft and as such was prone to many bugs when first taking to the skies. Taking off from Hawaii, the first time an F-22 crossed the international dateline, it had a massive computer failure and had to turn back and land. Oh, 27. Though it first became operational in the early 2000s didn't see combat until 2014, when in response to the deployment of anti-air missile systems and fighter jets in the region by Russia, F-22s began to escort coalition aircraft, ensuring the safety of the other aircraft. The high-tech Raptors also used their electronic warfare suites to gather data on Russian anti-air systems. 26. The F-22 has a range of 2,000 miles and can cruise at 1,500 miles an hour without afterburners. Without 25. The F-22 has a radar cross-section the size of a bumblebee while in flight and its weapons bay doors are closed, while its powerful onboard sensors allow the aircraft to target and destroy enemies from beyond visual range well before it's detected. 24. In exercises against friendly nations such as Britain and France, F-22s overwhelmingly decimated Raphael and Typhoon fighter jets by striking at them from beyond visual range and before they could be detected. 23. When the parameters of those exercises were redrawn, however, and F-22s were forced to fight at close quarters, French Raphael and British Typhoon jets broke even or even outgunned their F-22 counterparts. This is because the F-22 is designed to be an assassin, not a traditional fighter, and would rely on its stealth, speed, and high-tech sensors to strike before being seen. 22. Which During testing, an F-22 dropped a GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Munition from 50,000 feet, and while cruising at Mach 1.5, the bomb hit a moving target 24 miles away. 21. The U.S. Air Force typically tests the quality of its new aircraft by pitting them against current aircraft. 
In 2006, the F-22 was pitted against the F-15 and maintained a kill ratio of 108 to 0, highest kill ratio of a new aircraft versus current aircraft ever achieved. 20. The F-22 is the only aircraft in the world able to supercruise at supersonic speeds with full weapons loadout and without using fuel-inefficient afterburners. 19. The F-22 inspired the development of China's Chengdu-20 and Russia's Sukhoi T-50 Pak-FA as a countermeasure. Of the two, defense analysts around the world only ever considered the Sukhoi T-50 as serious competition. But with the recent announcement that Russia was indefinitely postponing its fifth-generation aircraft program, there seems to be no real competitor in the immediate future for the Raptor. 18. In 1956, due to its high speed, an F-11 shot itself because it was faster than its own bullets. No. 17. The F-35 is the US's second fifth-generation aircraft, and the total cost of development is so far seven times greater than that yes, of the International well. Space Station. 16. The Russian-built <laughs> Su-35 is the pinnacle of Russian fourth-generation fighter jets, and also the most maneuverable aircraft in the world. It uses thrust vectoring engines, much like the F-22, but with a greater range and the ability to vector the nozzles of its twin engines in different directions. It's capable of acrobatic maneuvers the F-22 can't match. 15. <laughs> the Su-35's incredible thrust vectoring capabilities are not just for impressive audiences at air shows. They also allow the Su-35 to achieve very high angles of attack, moving in one direction while pointing its nose in another, Whoa. which lets it more easily track and target evading targets. What? This makes the Su-35 one of the most deadly dogfighters ever created. No way, 14. A Su-35's thrust vectoring makes it lethal when targeting an enemy plane, but it leaves it in a very low speed and low energy state that makes it easy prey for other enemy fighters if not protected by its wingmen. 13. Though not a stealth aircraft, the Su-35's radar absorbent materials give it a radar cross-section between 1 and 3 meters, reducing the range it could be detected and targeted. 12. The Su-35's pilots use advanced helmets that can automatically target and launch an R-74 infrared guided missile by the pilot simply looking through a helm-mounted optical sight at an enemy plane up to 60 degrees away from where the plane is pointed. Mm. 11. Utilizing the Earbees E passively electronically scanned array radar, a Su-35 can track up to 30 targets with a radar cross-section of 3 meters up to 250 miles away, and targets with cross-sections as small as 0.1 one meters from 50 miles away. This radar, what? however, is easier to detect and jam than the ASA radars used by the West. 10. The German-made ME-262 was the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft, and its pilots scored 542 kills on Allied aircraft. 9. During operational trials, ME-262 scored 19 kills against Allied aircraft versus the loss of six ME-262s, immediately making it Germany's top fighter. 8. Despite its effectiveness, though, the ME-262 was plagued by too much bureaucratic oversight, which postponed its development and manufacture until late in the war when materials were short and Germany's manufacturing base was under constant attack by the Allies. Had the jet been cleared for development earlier, the outcome of the war may have been much different. 7. The F-35 is not only the most expensive fighter ever built, it's also made up of 300,000 separate parts by 1,500 suppliers from all over the world. 6. Despite being the most high-tech aircraft in the world, during development the F-35 had serious issues with its oxygen generation and delivery systems, potentially putting the pilot's life at risk. 5. The F-35's flight systems are the most advanced in the world, and altogether, its electronic warfare, radar, communication, navigation and identification, electro-optical targeting, and distributed aperture system all use over 8 million lines of code, more than any other plane in the air. 4. Developed specifically for the F-35, its Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine is an afterburning turbofan capable of generating 41,000 pounds of thrust. 3. With the addition of a lift fan to the front of the aircraft and a vectoring duct to the engine, the F-35 is the only fifth-generation aircraft ever designed that can land vertically. What? 2. Despite its own impressive capabilities, the F-35 is even more impressive in its ability to support other aircraft. Its powerful sensor fusion and information distribution capabilities makes 
each F-35 a miniature AWACS, pumping out targeting information to all friendly aircraft within range. It's the so F-35 simple. is even able to guide so in missiles cool. fired by other non-stealth so aircraft to their targets. So cool. One, during World War II, in order to hide the development of their radar and explain their ability to detect and target German planes from such long distances, British pilots started a rumor that carrots give great night vision. German pilots immediately no. started eating large amounts of carrots. What other <laughs> amazing or incredible real. facts they about fighter jets real. do you know of? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called 50 Surprising Facts About Cold War. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, that and subscribe. See you next time. lasted even to this day. That's like a thing. Like if you eat carrots, you can look in the, you can see in the dark. That was a lot of facts to get through. 50 facts, guys, 50 facts. It was fascinating. There were a lot of facts that I had no idea about. They were really, really interesting ones. I wish I could go more into detail about these different facts. There's just so, so many. Uh, there was like quick fire facts, I guess, but there was a bunch in there that really, really shocked me. I, I couldn't believe it. Fact number two or number three, I think you guys know which one I mean. I had a pretty like, shocked reaction to it. I think it was like number two or three. Um, I don't want to get too much into it because of YouTube rules and things like that, but I think it was the number two or number three facts. I had no idea about that. There should be much more like well known or maybe I'm just like ignorant to it because I'm not from the USA. I'm not sure if you guys knew about it as well. But yeah, let me know which fact you found the most interesting because that was probably the fact that I found the most interesting for sure. I had no idea and that's like so selfless but yeah guys thank you so so much for watching leave your thoughts down below i hope you guys enjoyed i learned a lot it was fun it was a fun video to watch i really like like facts videos like that if you guys didn't know i do have a twitch channel where i go live every single week so if you want to come over there and say hello while i'm live feel free to i will leave the link down below it is free to make an account free to join free to watch um free to chat and all that kind of stuff so if you want to come over there i'd love to see you i love when youtube viewers come over there and say hello so guys thank you so so much for watching again i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Caught